Cambodia is a small country with big aspirations. Its government has set a goal for the country to become one of the world's major rice exporters by the end of 2015. This means almost tripling its exports of milled rice to one million tonnes in the next year. Of course, in order to become a major exporting country, uh, Cambodia needs to produce more and more paddy rice. And Cambodia has to address the challenges concerning the productivity. And the challenges constraining productivity are huge. 80% of Cambodians work in rice paddies, but many of them, like Mut Suka, struggle to feed their own families with what they produce, let alone growing more for export. When there's not enough food to eat, I can't sleep, and the kids cry all day when I don't have anything to give them. Sometimes I cry too, and I've experienced this many times already. But one solution comes from a surprising place. On a simple tablet like this one, there is software that agricultural experts hope will help Suka and others like her to become better farmers. This software is the brainchild of Srinivas Garudacha and his colleagues from Grameen Intel Social Business, which was set up by technology giant Intel Corporation to respond to global social problems. When we talk about technology, what we bring to the table is software that solves small problems that are encountered in each part of the crop cycle for the farmer. Grameen Intel may know a lot about technology, but it knows little about agriculture in Cambodia. So it joined forces with the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, who brought together agricultural experts from around the world to devise an easy-to-use step-by-step program, which gives advice on soil, seeds, fertilizer, and dealing with pests and diseases. We put IT system to bring a connection between farmer and the expertise people who will bring all their knowledge inside the system. And this connection is made through local people, who are not only trained to use the software, but to become entrepreneurs. This is an opportunity for them to set up a small advisory business. Although they are not experts themselves, the software gives them immediate access to a pool of specialists, and so all the knowledge they need is at their fingertips. Prompted by the software, they analyze the soil and other conditions on the farms. The software then taps into the database to make recommendations even locating the closest suppliers of any fertilizers or pesticides that may be required. Mutsuka had never had her soil tested or been given any advice on her farming methods before. She was surprised to learn that she has been using far too much fertilizer. From what I was shown earlier, I think this will be very beneficial for me. I can reduce the amount of fertilizer that I use. By doing that, I can reduce my expenses. And the entrepreneur can further reduce Sukha's expenses by negotiating bulk orders for all the farmers in the area. In the next stage of the software development, the entrepreneur will also be able to connect the farmers to interested buyers. This is the first time the software is being tried out in Cambodia. Grameen Intel is already using similar software in India, where it has helped farmers increase their production by around 300 percent. The Cambodian government hopes for similar results to help it realize its export goals. For Suka, the goal is more personal. I have one dream. It is to work hard and to have a better standard of living. I especially want to see a better future for my children. I hope they can get a higher education and get good jobs. Over the next few months, the software will be launched in 500 locations across Cambodia, reaching more than 25,000 farming families, helping many farmers like Suka to fulfill their dreams. Oh. <laughs>